Inácio. Fonte que acolhe os que buscam a luz e a sabedoria. Mãos que amparam, que curam e que nos guiam. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros, sem medo de andar sozinhos. Quando buscamos a ti, voamos qual passarinho. Enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por ninho. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com tua mensagem. Quero ser uma ovelha do teu rebanho e da tua pastagem. Quero ver a luz divina refletindo tua imagem. E quando vier a tormenta, quero no teu abrigo Esperar a estiagem. Quero seguir o destino que aponta a tua mão. Quero entrar no canal que mergulha na imensidão. Para dar os primeiros passos, me juntar à tua legião. Escutar as tuas palavras, aprender a nova lição. Pregador das palavras de Cristo, demonstração de humildade. Nosso exemplo presente de amor e de bondade. Nos brinda com a distinção da presença e da caridade. Semeia entre nossas trevas a semente da verdade. Conduz a minha passagem pelos caminhos da fé. Siga sempre minhas pegadas e as marcas do meu pé. Atravessando os desertos onde andaram Maria e José, me levando ao encontro do Rei, o Jesus de Nazaré. For those who believe, no words are necessary. For those who do not believe, no amount of words are sufficient. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, connecting from all over Mother Earth, this Casa Day, May Day, another gift from God, another opportunity to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. And we have another spectacular day here in Avigenia. Deep blue skies, the colour of the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary, very comforting, giving us protection and love. And creation is so much alive, 
We have all sorts of little creatures. You know, luminous green lizards darting about. And of course, there's always butterflies flitting from vibrant flower to flower, reminding us of our transformation. And the birds serenading us in a divine symphony. And of course, everything is just highly vibrational, highly attuned now. And there's such a beautiful clarity in the air as we connect to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, here in Abichania, in the heart of Brazil. Try to be as comfortable as you possibly can as we relax and settle into this deep, deep work. Wherever you are, just be present. your body in any way. Just be open to receive. And let's put our intention into doing the best work possible in a state of surrender and grace. As we close our physical eyes, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances, leaving the material world behind and connecting beyond the veil our true home. We have so many entities of light and love available to us 24-7. They never leave us. And today is a great day because we honour the patron of the Casa de Dominacio, Saint Ignatius of Viola, and our beautiful brother, Saint Francis Xavier, both incorporated entities at the Casa. They founded the Company of Jesus, the Jesuits, over 500 years ago. To love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. And the Jesuits is a very modern uh, religious organization. To this day, they're in so many countries all over the world. And of course, at the time, there were so many monasteries in the mid 1500s. So what is unique about the Jesuits is that they brought their work out into the world. And it was kindling a fire of God's spirit in the hearts of countless seekers throughout the world. They were contemplatives in action. And of course, Dom Ignacio wrote the spiritual exercises, which is the framework really for the Jesuits. And it was a, a beautiful step-by-step uh, -step guide on how to pray 
how to surrender and also to really uh, see God in everything. And of course, even to this day, Alcoholics Anonymous and all of these associations base their principles on the spiritual exercises of Dom Ignacio. So he was way before his time. And of course, St. Francis Xavier was much younger than Dom Ignacio. And when they met in Paris, they didn't get along. And Xavier was making fun of Dom Ignacio, who was 38 years of age, and Xavier was 23. So they got off to a rough start and they became the best of friends. And Xavier was on fire for our brother Jesus. He wanted to pierce the Great Wall of China with the Christ consciousness. And of course, he baptized so many people. He was known as the Apostle of the East. And both him and Dom Ignacio are reunited in that their bodies, well, certainly Dom Ignacio's body is in a Yesu church in Rome and opposite is Xavier's arm responsible for so many baptisms and there's so many miracles associated with both of them so we're in good hands. Xavier's body is incorrupt in Goa in India and he uh, passed away at a young age as he was in the east uh, helping to convert people to the Christian gospel. So we celebrate the Jesuits and our two brothers, Tom Ignacio and St. Francis Xavier today. And they are with us every step of this journey. And of course, they were multiplying the Christ consciousness on earth, which is love. And our brother Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. So trusting the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles at the Last Supper, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, how to talk to God, our Father, how to surrender to the will of God, how to bring heaven to earth, how to be in gratitude for the gifts of life we have been given, how to forgive ourselves and others, and to protect us from the darker forces, honouring all of creation eternally. The Lord's Prayer is so full of hope and redemption. So let us say it slowly, consciously, deliberately, and in our hearts remembering before you pray, Forgive. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Rather, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, this is her month of May. And I'm Ignacio Xavier and all of the Jesuits honoured and revered our Divine Mother. We ask Mary in this very moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these darker days and to help us all to open our hearts, which is our mission on earth and to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the love, the forgiveness, the joy, the gratitude, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all, carnate and disincarnate, on our healing journey back home merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us children, now and at the hour of our passing.
St. Ignatius' words. The more desperate things seem, the more we must hope in God. When man's aid fails, God's aid is close by. Knowing God is more important than knowing about God. We are all children of God. And there's a reason why we're all here together, working to multiply the light on earth in these difficult days. Dom Ignacio reminds us that we were all called together as one family to work under the banner of Dom Ignacio, to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for heeding the call and for coming together to make the world a better place. We are equipped with everything we need and more to do this divine work. There's no coincidences, no accidents ever. We all know each other, whether we know it or not, from past lifetimes. And we have come together in this lifetime, united, a very powerful force in the fight between the light and the darker forces. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We were born to do this work. We are learning very difficult lessons right now in this, the school of life. Change is constant. This too will pass. We need to be present. Wherever you are, be there seizing the opportunities of each and every moment as we work from moment to moment to moment. This moment is all that we have. The past is gone. The future not yet risen. And even this present moment as we experience it becomes the past. Saint Ignatius of Fiola and Saint Francis Xavier taught us so much about surrendering to the divine power. Thy will be done, not my will. Both of them were from noble backgrounds. They surrendered their substantial material wealth. Dom Ignacio reminded a young Xavier what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? We are not expected to go out and give everything up. We need material wealth for living on earth to provide for our families. 
but we certainly need to surrender any dense energy that's holding us back, that is stopping us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are, our very essence. We're not all expected to be saints. There's no saint without a past and no sinner without a future. So there is hope. But Dom Ignacio was full of vain glory and he had a very dark past. He was very fond of the finer things of life and he was a lord of the court, as was Xavier. Dom Ignacio surrendered his sword and his dagger to Our Lady in Montserrat in Spain, changing his entire way of life, becoming a soldier for the Christ consciousness. And as with Xavier, they both, through the Jesuits, multiplied the Christ consciousness on earth. Love one another as I have loved you. So in these precious moments, let us ask Dom Ignacio and Xavier to help us to surrender to the will of God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, take and receive all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish, you have given me with love. And with love, I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your wealth and your love are enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask for nothing more. Amen.
in the stillness of our hearts. God speaks to us. God speaks vibration. God speaks to us always and in all ways. And God is in everything. Bidden or not, God is always present. And God had to do something to make us wake up to our divine essence. We are not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. We have lived many lifetimes on earth and we're back here at this moment in time, in history, to evolve, bringing this planet from an area of atonement into regeneration. We are shifting dimensions and this is very painful for a lot of people. We need to stay elevated. We are being called to go on the inner journey the journey of the heart. It's not our job to wake our brothers and sisters up. We're all going in the same direction. Some of us are going a little faster than others. Our job is to love ourselves to love our brothers and sisters. Not easy. What you see in others exists in you. And we're all in this together. The human condition. We're learning to forgive ourselves. To stop beating ourselves up. We're doing the best we can. That's all that's required of us. God sees every effort and we're learning to forgive our brothers and sisters. Not easy. We have the power in our own hands to let go of all of these grudges and resentments that we're holding on to that's dragging us down into the denser energy. We need to liberate ourselves and to liberate our brothers and sisters. There's never been more help available to us. Tom Ignacio and Francisco Xavier are so beautiful. They want us all to be well and happy and at peace and harmony with all of creation, to be joyful. As we do this work of liberation and surrender, God's love shines down upon us like the light rays from the sun. God's love is poured forth lavishly like a fountain spilling forth its waters in an unending stream. Just as we see the sun in its rays and the fountain in its waters so God pours forth a sharing in divine life in all the gifts showered upon us of creation. God's delight and joy is to be with the ones called God's children, to be with us. God cannot do enough to speak out and show love for us 
ever calling us to a fuller and better life, a sharing in divine life. Amen.
And in these precious moments now, when our hearts are filled with joy for this opportunity to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God, let us be open to receive blessings from on high into our open hearts. As we are now receiving a deep, deep, deep cleansing from these beautiful entities of light and love. This is a unique opportunity to let go of old enter energies that no longer serve us. From this lifetime, and indeed past lifetimes, known or unknown to us, as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our anger, our grudges, our resentments, our lack of gratitude, our lack of forgiveness, anything and everything that is stopping us, holding us back from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. Transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we make a better world for ourselves and for future generations to come. If you'd like to visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Khazar, any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation Strong green oak trees cleansing our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, vibrant flowers being kissed by beige floras. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine orchestra. Brilliant sunshine as we have today and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this magnificent place together. Bring your family and friends with you and let's bring those that are particularly suffering now in these challenging days on earth. Not everybody is as fortunate to have as much faith as us, knowing that all is in divine order. Faith moves mountains. And let us bring our brothers and sisters who we need to forgive and those who need to forgive us. This is a time of true forgiveness of surrendering anything and everything that's stopping us, holding us back, anything that's not of the light. Just surrender it all, knowing that we're safe in the arms of God. And let's bring our brother John of God into this high vibration also, and anyone and everyone who has suffered, who, who is suffering on account of the problems of the Casa. And not forgetting our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies, who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful high vibration to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this beautiful cleansing healing energy pouring into our open hearts from the celestial fields, let's share it with the world. Allowing it to gush forth into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, our healthcare professionals, and anyone and everyone who is in a caring capacity in these pivotal times on earth. Allowing
allowing this beautiful energy to pour forth into hospices, nursing homes, helping our elders, orphanages, prisons, asylums, anywhere and everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering or in pain or are hungry. Allowing this gorgeous high vibration to pour forth into the war zones, bringing peace and harmony in our lifetime. St. Rita is with us. To God, all things are possible. Allowing this beautiful energy to gush forth into the migrant camps, helping to liberate our brothers and sisters, recognizing we're all the same, no difference, equal, interconnected, the human condition. Allowing this God light to enlighten our government leaders. We need them now to wake up, to put people before profit. Every being matters. To help them to make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now. For future generations being reincarnated regenerating this planet. Allowing this pristine, crystal clear energy to flow now into our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Already, Mother Nature is bouncing back Hallelujah, praise God. God is good. Allowing this magnificent high vibration to envelop Gaia. Cleansing and healing all beings as it grows and multiplies into infinity.
and in these sacred moments now when our hearts are filled from these beautiful blessings from the celestial fields coming into our open hearts helping us to work in a state of surrender and grace and joy going forward to fight the good fight. Thank you, God Almighty, for this opportunity in this moment in space and time to be able to receive your love into our hearts, to make us feel your presence in our lives. We are never, ever alone. And thank you to these beautiful entities of light and love, so many of them available to us all the time. We are in gratitude for them being our friends and walking with us on this path. And today, Dom Ignacio, Saint Ignatius of Viola, the patron of the Casa, and his friend, Saint Francis Xavier, the Apostle of the East, with us. And the whole Jesuit energy, friends of the Lord, the company of Jesus, helping us all to multiply the Christ consciousness on earth, which is love. And our brother Jesus, and our mother Mary, their presence always felt, holding us in their divine loving arms. Thank you. And to you, my magnificent brothers and sisters, for your courage to walk the path less traveled. Although this awakening on earth is necessary, it's not easy and we are challenged but we have so much help from the other side and all is well already and all is going to be even better a whole new world of love and light exciting times indeed so thank you for your willingness to love and to serve in the name of Dom Ignacio for the greater glory of God. Teach us, good Lord, to be generous, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do thy will. Amen.
Love, loving, love. Namaste.